Hey everyone, so welcome to this free tutorial on how you guys can use Notion within your business. I've been using Notion quite some time now and I truly believe that it's one of the best productivity platforms for many, many entrepreneurs. Especially if you're a solo entrepreneur or you have a small team, then Notion is really a great place for you to store your life, communicate with your employees or contractors, and really use it to hold yourself accountable to doing everyday tasks. So what is Notion? So Notion is an all-in-one digital planner and workspace that allows you to think, write, plan, capture thoughts, manage projects, or even run an entire company. This video is not sponsored by them. I'm just a very big fan of the platform and it's gonna be completely free for most of you guys unless you need some you know, advanced features. Or if you actually have a .edu email, they do have a free student plan that gets you some of the more advanced features that normally cost money. Now, the great thing about using Notion is that it's really, really easy to use. It's basically like building a Lego set, except everything you need is pre-made and all you have to do is arrange things to where you want them. If you don't need something in the Lego set, you just don't use it and you can delete it. You can do other cool things with Notion like create your own layouts and toolkits to get work done. And it's also compatible with platforms like Android, iOS, Mac, Windows, and of course your web browser. Think of Notion as a digital planner that you can essentially upload your entire life onto. Instead of you know having multiple tasks spread across three or four different apps on your phone or computer. And with Notion, you guys, you can take notes, you can organize ideas and assign tasks to your teammates using the task task management software. You can set up timetables for you and your teammates using the calendar. And as a bonus, Notion also fully integrates with many other tools. Notion's database feature is arguably the best tool it has to offer. And you can pretty much create any database set that you want. You have the option of using a table, board, list, calendar, gallery, or timeline to store information like data, text, numbers, file attachments, and more. So the options with Notion are endless, and once you start to get a feel for how the platform works, it's seriously going to change your life. So right now, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your Notion and give you guys some tips and tricks on how you can you know, maximize this platform. So I'm here on the Notion website, and this is pretty much gonna be a pretty broad overview of Notion. Uh, we're not gonna get into any like really specific, more advanced features of it, but I will show you guys how I have my Notion set up and some ideas that you guys can use for your own Notion account. So coming up here to resources, you guys can see they have a blog, they have tons of guides and tutorials, they have webinars. And if I click on guides, you guys can see there are so many different articles here that will, you know, really show you guys how to use Notion in depth. And what I recommend doing is if you are actually considering using Notion, come here, look at some of these things, learn from them. Yeah, it's really cool how much stuff you guys can actually do with Notion and it really will help you with your business. So going back to the homepage, you guys can just click this, try Notion for free and you can get started that way. So this is the inside of my own Notion account. You guys can see over here, we have all the different pages. These are the shared ones, meaning that other people can see some of these depending on who I share it with. I have dashboards with some of my contractors. I have my TikTok calendar that's shared with people. I have weekly goals. I have one of my businesses, like some tasks and stuff like that. But over here, you actually have your private pages. So these are only accessible by you and you only. And you can see some of the different pages I have here. Uh, I have all my YouTube calendars right here. This is one of them, the Charlie Chang show. You guys can see that this is a great way to sort of organize your videos and, you know, put them in different stages of completion, right? So for this one, we have no SAS, we have scripting in progress, ready to film, film, and so on, right? So let's say that I'm taking this video and I've scripted it or it's in progress. I'll drag it here. Once it's ready to film, I'll drag it here and so on. So you can keep doing this and it sort of helps you guys visualize like where your content is at and all the different stages. Uh, you can also look at different views. So there's a calendar view right here. If you do want to assign different due dates and stuff like that, it's going to show up here. There's also a table view. And of course you can click the plus button right here and add a different type of view. If I do want to do that, you guys can come here. Uh, you can see I don't have, let's say, for example, a gallery view. So I can click on that and I'll click done. So now I have a new gallery view. Some other things you guys can have are any uh, SOPs, so standard operating procedures. You can have dashboards for each of your contractors. You can also have notes. So these are like private notes that you keep uh, to yourself. This is where I also build out all my courses. So for each of my courses, I'm going to have its own little page underneath Side Hustle Mastery. And from there, I basically build out the entire course. For example, this is my six figure YouTube Academy. If I want to, let's say, create a new page slash and I'll click page, it's going to allow me to create a new page. We'll do a test page right here, empty with icon. Uh, and if you guys go back here, it's going to show up right here. And this is just sort of how you can like uh, organize a lot of different things. So I can click on this and I can do the outline for this page. And there's lots of different commands that you guys can do. Just type in the slash 
and then you guys can see you guys can add text create another page within this page right you can do a to-do list you can do headings table divider that's really cool and you can do a lot of cool things i just recommend looking at those guides if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to do those things if i want to create a new page i'll click here the plus button and it's going to allow me to title it so let's say i want to call it daily tasks that uh, i can do empty with an icon empty different templates or i can import a template so let's look at some of the templates that they have i'll click on this so you can see the one of the great things about notion is that they have so many pre-built templates for you guys to use so you guys can come over here there are different design templates roadmap user research database meeting notes company goals under students if you guys are in college or high school or whatever you guys can see there's tons of different templates for this for example class notes this is perfect if you want to use notion to actually take notes on your computer you can calculate your grade uh, you can create a reading list you can have your own personal crm you guys can have a notion page uh, that you share with your roommates you can have a course schedule really there's lots of cool things here here. Uh, and you guys can just look here and see if any of these things match what you want to do. For example, if you are in marketing, click on this. They got like brand assets, uh, meeting notes, media list, content calendar, and mood board. They also have personal ones, which you guys are definitely use. For example, if you guys want to you know, create a personal blog post, you guys can click on that. If you want to use Notion as a notebook, you guys can do that. You can track your habits. You guys can create your own resume. You can have a weekly agenda, task list. Um, yeah, you guys can do so much stuff with Notion. That's why I think it's such a cool platform. Platform. But for daily tasks, let's say I want to select task list. So I'll select that. It'll show me sort of what it looks like and I'll click use this template and then it's going to populate that template into my page. So there I have task list. You guys can see right now uh, we have to do, doing, done, and I can actually create more uh, of these groups if I want. For example, let's say I want to create one called archive, done, and I'll have a new one. And of course we can you know drag these change the order if we want. You can change the colors if you want to do that. I can of course add new views if I want. So I can do a, uh, let's say calendar view. I like that one, done. Now if I create a new thing right here, let's say test task, right? I'll do that, I'll click on it. I can add different properties, right? So we can do uh, dates, click on that. I can enter the date, 17th of August. I can add additional properties. This is the current status, so it's uh, in the to-do one, I can change that right here to doing. It'll automatically move it over here. I can add comments here. Depending on what I want to do for this one, I can just click empty page and I can write test task right here. Here. So then I have that. I can drag this to here if I'm done with it. And yeah, just one way to use Notion. Another thing I really recommend doing is having a personal notes section like this. So I'm not going to click on that because there's some sensitive information, but I'll click plus right here. I'll click notes two. We can use a template, let's say. We can come here and let's say I want to choose a simple notebook. We can see what that looks like. That looks pretty good. Use this template. It's going to populate that here and add that uh, page right here and I can create new. And yeah, you guys can use this, uh, get creative. Uh, anything that's personal that you guys wanna take notes on. For example, uh, with my own therapy, I even have a page called Therapy Notes, right? So if you wanna take notes on your therapy sessions, you guys can do that right here. Uh, you can have accounting notes. You guys can have any shared bills you have that you want to you know, take notes on. You guys can have book notes. Whatever it is, you guys can create your own page for it and uh, do those notes. Not that I would ever do this, but let's say I wanna share my therapy notes with someone. I can actually come up here to share and you can share this to the web if you want or you can share it to people so you can enter in their email and it's going to allow them to see this page you can also look at um, any comments that are made on this page you can also look at any updates that have been done so like the history of it if you click on these three dots you guys can actually change the style of this page you can change like the font you can change the width you can lock the page if you want you can add it to your favorites and so on i mentioned this earlier but you can connect uh, Notion to your Slack channel if you do want to do that. And you can also uh, export to PDF, HTML, and Markdown. So yeah, this is just like a pretty basic guide on some of the things you guys can do with your Notion page. The main gist of it, you guys, is create these pages over here, create pages within those pages, and it's gonna be a great place for you guys to sort of store everything you need for your life. Again, Notion is completely free to use. They do have some paid plans, however, but again, if you guys have a student email, a .edu email, you can actually get a free uh, personal pro account while using that email. So I encourage you guys to play around with it, um, learn on the Notion website, and just start using it for your overall life. It's just gonna really uh, help you stay more productive and organized. Anyways, I hope you guys found this 
this video helpful because I truly believe that Notion is such a great platform for almost anyone to use. While I've graduated to using ClickUp for my business, I still use Notion a ton for my own personal life, but don't tell anyone, I don't think I actually had to switch to ClickUp. I think that Notion is totally fine for any small team up to like 20 people. I'll put some links down below to some resources that you guys are gonna find useful. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like and subscribe if you wanna see more content just like this. The whole point of this channel is to make free guides and tutorials helping entrepreneurs with their business. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.